Hello and welcome to the stock market analysis. Today we'll be talking about seven trading problems that the 20 MA solves. Now, um, what are the problems that a lot of traders face? Now, if you're honest with yourself, some, one of the problems are not knowing when to buy the bottom. We always try to be a Warren Buffett and try to buy the bottom, but honestly, many traders don't know when to buy the bottom. And even if you know how to buy the bottom, you're not sure how to ride the trend higher. And uh, for some of us, we're not sure when to be heavy in the market. Sometimes uh, in the bull market, you can uh, put more capital to use. Sometimes you should be out of the market, uh, which is the problem, the thought problem that many traders face. And uh, some traders are not sure whether a continu continuation pattern is good or not. For example, if you see an ascending triangle, is this a good ascending triangle? A good breakout play or not? Many a times we do not know. And uh, when the stock is in an uptrend, we are not sure where to buy dips in, a, in an uptrend. So all of this combined gives us one big problem, which is uh, we don't have a simple tool to navigate the markets. Here we may learn many complicated things, complicated tools, but we actually don't have a simple tool to navigate the markets. And uh, today we are going to learn about a simple tool, that is the 20 period moving average, which will help you to catch a bottom in stocks. This is a good trend following tool and it can act as a stock market filter for when you should trade stocks and when you should not. And uh, it will also guide you when you should take a continuation pattern trade and also it guides you to know when is the best time to buy dips in an uptrend. Now let's look at this problem. Problem is not knowing when the stock is bottoming after a sell-off. Well, um, sometimes stocks do not go up in a straight way. They tend to correct like this here and if you have bought here you will have suffer another decline here so if you have bought here as well you also suffer a decline here so what is the way that we can overcome all this i want you to look at this red line here this is a 20 day moving average this is a daily chart of microsoft 1D means one day and the 20 period moving average is an average price of 20 days and the computer will automatically calculate it and it will help you to calculate it and form a moving average so that it's smooth for you to see. So um, what is a solution if you do not know how to see whether the stock is bottoming or not? But wait for the stock to trade back above the 20 MA. So when the stock drops here and you would look, want to look for buy, you wait for it to go back above the 20 MA. And this is the first hint that the stock wants to go back up. And here it has a correction and it is only here that the stock trades back up above the 20 MA and look, from that it went higher. And here we have a double bottom. Uh, reversal pattern so I will leave you with a tip here combine the 20 MA with bullish reversal chart patterns for example double bottom triple bottom reverse head and shoulders I do have a video lesson about bullish reversal chart patterns if you're interested I'll leave it in the link description below so that you can take a look at it during your free time our next problem that a lot of traders is I don't have a good trend following method or tool. Yeah, there are many ways, many tools, but one of the uh, best trend following tools that I have found is just a simple moving average. I use the SMA20, you can use the EMA exponential weight, a moving average, weighted moving average, but for me, um, simple is best. And what we can do is to use the 20MA, remember what I said when 
there's a correction and the stock goes back up to 20 MA and after that it rises how do you know how to write the trend stay bullish on the stock when it is above the rising 20 MA sometimes the 20 MA is flat but when it is rising and the stock generally stays above the 20 MA you want to continue to write the trend higher and stay bullish in the stock and the stock of uh, Facebook meta platforms after it broke out from this consolidation right, uh, it went all the way higher just look at the rising 20 MA so when the stock is above the 20 MA we deem it as short-term bullish and there are many trading opportunities here like there's a breakout here there's another breakout here and if you bought these breakouts you can use the 20 MA to ride it higher sometimes the stock may correct and test the 20 MA and this is where your support and resistance analysis comes in for example here's a congestion area sideways trading area is a support area so even if the stock drops a bit below 20 MA you know that the probability of it going back up is good because of this support area so uh, tip here is you must combine the rising 20 MA with support and resistance analysis another problem that traders always face is I don't know when is a good time to buy stocks um, here's an uncommon knowledge 75% of stocks they follow the general market so if the market goes up for a week three out of four stocks will go up and that is when you want to be buying stocks okay when the stock market is falling like here three out of four stocks will also be falling so with this knowledge our solution is to check the s p 500 and where it is in relation to the 20 ma so um my tip here is when the stock the s p 500 you can use the uh, futures the cfd chart or even the ETF itself SPY when the S&P 500 is below its uh, 20 MA you stay away from the market like here don't buy stocks when it is above the 20 MA this is an area and a period of area where it is conducive to buy stocks to take long positions and when it drops below 20 MA and trades below the 20 MA most of the time this is an area that is not conducive and when it trades back again above the 20 MA this is a conducive area for you to long stocks to buy stocks so tip number one only buy stocks when the S&P 500 20 MA is flat or rising okay, you don't want to be buying stocks when the S&P 520 MA is declining like here is uh, generally declining but when it is rising or flat rising you want to be long stocks when it's rising you want to be long stocks tip number two buy stocks when S&P 500 is above the 20 MA I've uh, mentioned to you just now here is a conducive area here is a conducive area Tip 3. Stay away from bullish trades when the S&P 500 is below its 20 MA. No point buying stocks here. No point buying stocks here. There will be uh, lots of losses. Uh, highly unlikely that your stock will go against the trend of the market. Number 4. Always combine uh, your 20 MA analysis with support and resistance analysis. Um, you cannot only use one tool on its own you need to use the support and resistance analysis as well because um, the market is not only derived from one thing you need to look at things from many many perspectives for example here is a congestion area it is a support area correct when the stock is dropping the stock market is dropping and look it reach around this area and because there is support here the market rise and if you have knowledge about support and resistance the moment the market goes back above the 20 MA you will know that hey this is a support area let's try to get long stocks from 
this moment onwards. And here, look at how it went higher. Okay, let's move on to the next problem. Some of us will say, I do not know when to buy a dip during an uptrend. Um, stocks, even if they are in an uptrend, they do not go in a straight line. They will go up, they will move up, like here, move up, and down, move up, and then correct a bit, and then move up. And we know it might probably do this. Okay, so um, there are times that a lot of traders, even if they buy a stock that is in an uptrend, they suffer losses because they buy around here and the stock corrects. And because they do not have holding power, they have uh, put in too heavy a position and they, you know, they just sell the stock only to see the stock continue rising higher. So a good solution is to buy dips to support when stock is near the rising 20 MA. So here are two things that you need to consider. Support area and the rising 20 MA, not the flat 20 MA. Uh, don't buy stocks when it is flat like this. Okay, only when the 20 MA is rising. Here we have a rising 20 MA. So this stock went up, is in uptrend and it corrected to the rising 20 MA. And support and resistance will tell you that previous high once overcome is a new area of support. So this is a very good area for you to uh, long stocks, to buy the stock in uptrend. Then the stock went higher, corrected to this support area, form a bottoming tail. And you can actually take a trade here, buy above the bottoming tail, put stop loss here and see it go higher. So the tip here is, Combine the 20 day moving average with Japanese candlestick patterns for an entry. So we have a doji here showing uh, slowing bullish moment, a bearish momentum. Then we have a green bar here showing the bulls coming into control. Here we have a bottoming tail at support which tells us that stock rejects to go lower. So it wants to go higher. So always remember to combine 20 MA with Japanese candlesticks for an entry. Also combine it with support analysis now you may have this problem how do i find high probability continuation patterns somewhere along your trading journey you will learn about continuation patterns continuation patterns are like triangles sending triangles maybe a breakout from consolidation these are continuation patterns in an uh, uptrend but how, how do you find high prob probability ones? The solution here is to look for continuation patterns that appear near the 20 MA. It's better if it's touching the 20 MA, but sometimes if it's near, like around here, that's okay. Now, I have found over the years um, of looking at stock charts that stocks tend to do better in a breakout and continuation pattern when it is near its rising 20 MA. So we have this stock here in a bad decline. See, most of the time it's below the 20 MA. Then it went back above the 20 MA and started a new uptrend. Here we have the stock consolidating. You can actually draw a box here to look at the when it will break out and where it will break out. And Look, it is touching the rising 20 MA and this because uh, there's a consolidation pattern at 20 MA. This is a high probability continuation pattern. You can buy the breakout here, put a stop loss below the consolidation and write it higher. So tip here is learn some continuation patterns like triangle, ascending triangles. There's so many continuation patterns study and learn them and trade those that appear near the rising 20 ma and believe me when you do so uh, your tr winning trades will be higher than your losing trades next problem that many of us face which uh, this is quite related to uh, the previous problem is how do I get a high probability breakout trade? So a breakout is when the stock breaks out above a consolidation and move higher. You want to trade breaks out, breakouts that are at the rising 20 MA. For example, this stock has been 
trading sideways and forming an ascending triangle type of pattern and it looks like it wants to break out and how do we know that it's a high probability trade the 20 ma is rising when it's rising it tells us um, there is a bullish bias a rising ma shows bullish bias so we have a rising ma here and the moment it breaks out you can buy the breakout put a stop loss along this trend line and um, look how nice the stock went up so always um, buy break out especially when the stock is at the rising 20 ma your odds of success or winning successes will be higher some problems that we face some traders face is how do i know if the stock is topping Yes, this is one of the things that plague many many traders they know how to buy continuation pattern they know how to buy the bottom but they do not know when to sell the stock for example they may uh, see a double bottom here they buy it only to ride it higher and then the stock collapses and you end up here so frustrated ha having hold the stock for one month plus and you just think that it's just going to go low and you sell it off here just to see it go higher very frustrating isn't it now so solution here is when the stock drops below the 20 ma start to be careful doesn't mean you need to sell it straight away but you need to be careful maybe you can sell one third of the position and raise your stop losses to break even let's say you take a double bottom trade here you bought here as it uh, move above the 20 ma and when it reaches here you see a double top pattern okay you are cautious then the moment it touches this 20 ma you're even more careful and you start selling some of your positions off without needing to you know, hold this stock for so long and let's say you bought the stock here and you right higher and then you see a double top here and when it drops below the 20 ma and even further here you should be selling your positions off so um the stock also broken up trend line here when the stock breaks an uptrend line there's a double top pattern it just tells you that the stock is likely to change trend from bullish trend to bearish trend similarly here when the stock had a really nice run up let's say you bought here when it dropped below here time to be careful doesn't mean the stock won't go up foot higher but you have bought the stock here put a stop loss here might as well take some profits off the table so uh, the 20 ma actually helps you to be realistic help you to be careful so that you don't give all your profits back to the market so the tip here combine 20 ma with bearish reversal chart patterns and also trend line analysis i've shown you a example here and i hope this helps you a lot now uh, this is a simple guide i've shown you some of the powerful ways that the 20 ma can help here this is just a starting point we cannot jet cram everything into a 20 minute video uh, it, it just doesn't make sense the market is much more uh, difficult to master than that so what i want you to do is first of all take this 20 ma put it in your chart and learn look at the last things that i've taught you in this lesson and see okay when the stock goes above the 20 ma what happens when it drops below the 20 ma what happens make it your own and try and learn more about different technical concepts and how they relate to the 20 period moving average and i get i guarantee you the more you study the more you employ the 20 and maybe other technical concepts you will be able to spot moves and changes in the stock market easily so in summary you now have a very simple but powerful tool to help you catch your bottom in stocks you also know how to filter out when is a good time and when is not a good time to buy stocks and you also uh, have learned how to find high probability trades now i hope this um, lesson has been helpful to you if it's been helpful to you please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more 
video lessons like this and I'll see you in the next one.